Labor Zionism. Labor Zionism. Hey, Mom, what are you watching? Just a soap opera in lifetime. Go work the land, son. The only way we will establish a state for all the Jews to become free is to become part of the land. Pour your heart and soul into the land. Feel the land, for it was this land that God gave Abraham, the soil under your feet that gave life to the Jewish nation. For the next generation, we will create a bright future in the land of Israel for the Jewish people. Nourish the seeds and watch them grow. Care for them and they will give us fruits. <laughs> Labor Zionism, the only way for a Jewish state. So what makes this the best way to get a state for the Jews? Well, sweetie, there are a few types of Zionism that I am aware of. Progressive Zionism, Revisionist Zionism, Practical Zionism, Cultural Zionism, Religious Zionism. Don't forget that the Arabs also have a point of view in all this. Let me tell you a bit about Labor Zionism, as it is the most effective. But Mom, how can working the land grant us the land of Israel? If we settle there and assert our right to the land, and then any opponent cannot move us, we cannot trust others to give us a state. We must work for it ourselves. It won't just come to us on a silver platter. Simply forming revisionist groups and changing ourselves and Jewish culture won't guarantee us the respect of the globe. If we contribute to the economy, we can prove our worth and what an indispensable resource we are. Then, and only then, will we obtain a state. We also can't rely on God to give us anything we ask for. First, we need to prove we can work for this land and care for it. The Mashiach won't save us just by moving to Israel. We need to show him we are worth saving first. What about the Arab population still living there? Well, sweetie, by working the land, we can show them how much we want to live there, and they won't resent us because we have worked the land for years just like them. But if everyone's a farmer, won't everyone be poor? The leaders of this type of Zionism thought about that too. Aaron Gordon was one of them, and David Ben-Gurion, the first Prime Minister of Israel, was another. What is known as kibbutzim and moshavim were developed. It is a sort of socialist society where all the profits were pooled and people worked because they believed in their cause. Not to be greedy or to become rich, but because they knew it was the only way to achieve their dreams. By working the land, they farmed vegetables, fruits, and all sorts of produce, which they then sold. It developed such a big industry for them that poverty was not an option. They had many exportations, and they then shared in the profits, giving everyone enough money to provide for their needs. Wow, Mom, that's actually sick. You inspired me to go search it up. Be right back. Wow, like I can't believe our people went through this. Wow, honestly, this proves why Libra Zionism is so much better than all the others. Labor Zionism, Labor Zionism, Labor Zionism, Labor Zionism, Labor Go work the land, daughter. <laughs> the only way we will establish a state for all the Jews to be free is to become part of the land. Pour your heart in something. <laughs> your shoes don't time, by the way. Why Libra Zionism is the best.